And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the World Cup prediction series. I'm so happy to be able to bring you yet another daily series on the channel. Our two most successful series so far have been our two daily series that have been, of course, the Nations League and the Women's Euros. We were up over the 1,000 views per video mark come the back end of both of those tournaments. So it'd be great to see that happen again during this World Cup. Obviously, this video is coming to you a couple of days early. That just gives the YouTube algorithm the opportunity to get this video out to as many people as possible before the tournament starts, before we then, of course, start going daily from Monday all the way through until the end of the last 16, where there is a couple of day break before the quarterfinals. If it's not worth a like on the video to see this series, Series coming to the channel I don't really know what is and like I say make sure you are subscribed if you are new around here because again this series is going to be coming to you as often as it possibly can now if you are someone that is a regular subscriber and a regular viewer on this channel you're already going to know how the point scoring system works so feel free to jump ahead towards the end of the video where you will see my prediction for the opening game of the World Cup as always I have put the chapters in the bottom of of the video and in the description allowing you to easily navigate around the key moments of my videos but if you are new around here I am going to do a quick rundown of the rules that we have because I always feel like this series is an opportunity for you guys to get involved challenge yourself against me see how many points you can get against me and at the end of the tournament we will see who is the ultimate predictions winner so let's get quickly in to that series format so for example, if there is a game between England and Germany at the World Cup, the way this is going to work is you need to make your prediction in the 90 minutes. Now, obviously, all group games are 90 minutes long, but when we get to the knockout stages, the prediction will be done on the 90-minute result, not if it goes to extra time or penalties, and I will touch on what happens with extra time or penalties in a moment. But say, for example, England are playing Germany, and I've gone for a 2-1 victory to England. That means that if it is a Germany win, you score 90 no points. If it is a draw, you also score no points. If it is an England win by a scoreline that is anything other than the correct score, that is going to score you one point. But of course, if you do manage to get the perfect scoreline of 2-1 as Dave falls to the floor, that is going to score you a total of three points. So that is the way we've always operated things when it comes to the Premier League series, Champions League, Nations League, etc, etc. All the series we've done so far, that is how we've operated things. However, we are going to add a bonus point when it comes to the knockout rounds in the case that the 90-minute result is a draw and the game goes to extra time and penalties whereby you can select in your prediction the team that you think is going to progress in the tie. So if that team is England in this case, I would score an additional point, pushing me up to four if the result was 2-1 in 90 minutes. It would, however, only be one if it was a draw in 90 minutes and then England won in extra time or penalties. Does that make sense? I'm hoping so. Essentially, your score is based on the 90-minute result, and then there is a bonus point for the team that progresses to the next round once we hit the knockout stages. That is all that there really is to it. If you have any further questions on that, please let me know down in the comments and I'll try and explain it a little bit more clearly. But for now, let's look ahead to the very first game of the Qatar World Cup. And that is going to be the single game on match day one. And the game itself is between the hosts, Qatar, and their first opponents are going to be Ecuador. Now, immediately we have to talk about some minor controversy because there has been some reports going around today that um, allegedly Qatari officials have bribed some Ecuadorian players to end this game as a 1-0 win for Qatar. So if that does happen, it will be very, very suspicious. But I'm going to go off the assumption that that is something that has not happened and this game is going to be played completely, fairly and evenly. And what I am going to go for is a 3-1 win to Ecuador. Now, I always like to see the smaller nations when it comes to footballing abilities have their moments in their World Cup. And I would absolutely love to see Qatar have their shabalala moment like South Africa did back in 2010. And it would be great to see Qatar get the opening goal of this World Cup. But whether they get it or whether they don't, I don't really see this from a footballing perspective being any other result than an Ecuador win. And I feel like 3-1 is just about the right result. 
And that is actually going to be it for today. There is only one game on match day one, so that is going to be the only prediction that I put out there. Like I say, this is going to be a daily series, so we will return on Monday where we will have match day two's fixtures, where there will, of course, be four games to go through, including the introduction of the three Lions to the tournament. A game I am very excited to uh, firstly predict and then break down as I do my post-match reactions to every England game during this tournament. As always, please let me know down in the comments what you are going to be going for for this opening fixture. I will put the fixtures for all of the games in the description of each video, allowing you to copy and paste them down so you can quickly tell me what you think the results are going to be. And yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. A quick reminder that you can still join the SO99 Fantasy Football League for the World Cup. A link to that will be available in the description of the video as well. And if you want to see even more content from me, please do check out my gaming channel. That is also available at the end of this video and in the description of the video as well. I am going to be live streaming with my England squad on FIFA this weekend on Saturday morning, giving it a go. You know, the video I put out last week about the team that I would have taken to Qatar, we're going to be taking that team out on FIFA this week. So make sure you check out that over the weekend for you as well. And all that is left to say is, of course, thank you very much for watching. I will see you on Monday for those predictions for the England game. Thank you very much for watching.